I was put on this planet for a reason. And that reason was to continuously, it seems, save my nation from peril. You don't know necessarily who I am. Although you may have seen me in aforementioned works that are my creativity, designed to entertain, make you think, and explore the technical abilities of my supercomputer, which I nickname Neo Cerebro. Yes, I have been infused since a young age of the knowledge of the X-Men, and I love the X-Men, and I like their films, and I like their comics, but I am not a gay. It doesn't really matter. I'm a Christian, and I like to think the cross in the X is subliminal knowledge for the cross of Christ. And we are the persecuted. The X-Men, traditionally in the films, are persecuted. Not just by society, but also the government. And even within their own understanding of mutant powers, they have schisms and problems and fallings out. Much like the left wing of the world body politics. But neither am I overly left wing. But I am certainly no Nazi, right? Or fascist. I really don't like any of these extremist pricks who litter the world with their murderous intent of a superior way that will never manifest due to the ignorance laden and the ill thought through methodology of fighting the very word of latent God within our psyches since time immemorial began and all creation and infinity was engineered by some omnipotence and omniscience way beyond that of our ability to understand or even demonstrate physically. So with this said, and quite well might I add as well, without wishing to be boastful or proud or ignorant or arrogant or egomaniac, it's just to say that I'm quite pleased I got that much out without too much bother as it is. Now the good thing I'm here to tell you is that if you're not sure how to vote and if you're quibbling and if you're wibbling and if you don't like fascism and you don't like socialism or communism or leftism, stay on the good ship Tory buddy. You've got to do it. We are a stronghold man. We are a stronghold of England since time began its properness and we have maintained power collectively with some level of beautiful wealth for the people to generate all good things more successfully, traditionally, than so many other parties. And the Tories, like them or hate them, have a good peace. This is a good peace. We do not daily have mayhem, war, terrorism, violence, bombing and shit on our face. Do we? Okay? So we're going to have to be strong, we're going to have to be brave, and we're going to have to put on a vote. Tory. Because what are the other options? Better the devil you know. And I don't think Rishi's the devil. I think he's quite a nice chap. Yes, he's minted. But he's not the only one. Stop living in envy of rich people and it makes you look so ugly yourself. Do you not understand what I'm saying? He got to that position. Through being responsible, polite, decent, sensible, intelligent, studious, educational, and listen to his elders at proper moments. Right? You just don't get into the network if you're a bit It stands to reason. Right? And look, Angela Raynor. Oh, I know, look, I think I'm very impressed by her for a, a young, poor, impoverished woman who's risen to the very top of British politics. But her being in charge of the cabinet at one level in whatever role she's been testing for, when she's got one MVQ and some unknown crap, and she can do sign language, which is quite impressive, but I, uh, well, I'm not even going to try in case I teach the deaf to un inadvertently invade Poland, when all I meant to say was the recipe for scones, or some such example. So I won't even try sign language, unless that meant... You know, oh, God knows what it means. So what I'm just going to do is going to phone my hand and say, Angela, I may not be able to communicate to the deaf physically, but I can make more people I hope and trust understand fluid intellectual realism and rationality at this pressing juncture with more acumen and orating ability than you have yet managed to muster. I have 
seen on TV within a sustained bit of time that gets across enough information to provide solace to the hearts of those in fear and panic and concern for an evil world, which no one is trying to make, right? As a guy who's largely conservative, the abuse we get in, from the ignorant is unreal. It doesn't matter how many books I've read. It doesn't matter how many books I've written. It doesn't matter how many films I've watched. It doesn't matter how many films I've made. It doesn't matter how much music I've listened to or how much albums I've made. They just couldn't give a fuck, think you're an asshole, and want to kill you on the basis of their ignorance and their misunderstanding and their complete doolally, often drug fueled ignorance. There's no other word for it. They are warped in the head and they have no understanding of the process of professional truth within reality and the church, which the conservatives are more linked to than you may find otherwise. And it's not a hotbed or a cabal for satanic fucking pedophiles. It's the bread and blood of Jesus Christ, ideally. Okay? This is why it's all gone shit up, tits, piss, ding, dang, wingle, wongle. Because you all talk so much crap about so many things you don't know about. And it's so embarrassing to see humanity ponder themselves with moronism and vote for shit like Farage or shit like New Labour. None of this New Labour. Labour. It'll just be bollocks again. As it's always bollocks. Because this is Britain. And it's always angry chat politically about the state of affairs. Well, I've said my piece. I have said my piece. And the fair dinkum as well with me. We see upon this grand sunny day in an almost heavenly orbit of sunshine just how blessed we are to have every sacred breath in peace. And some wealth. Legalize weed.